The first film was really kind of contained in this one building, and there was a, you know, a certain sense of claustrophobia in that. This film is up in the air, in the airport, outside the airport, out on the, you know, the runway. It's it's just expanded a lot more. The uh, snow actually turned out to be one of the characters in the film. We had to move three or four times to actually, we had to kind of chase the snow. That was really, you know, the challenge for us was to see whether or not we could, we could match or top what we did in this in this huge, huge action film called, you know, Die Hard, and I think we've we've, you know, surpassed that. It really just goes to your stomach and pulls you into it. You're not quite sure who's wearing the black hat or the white hat. It's just like cowboys and Indians, modern day cowboys and Indians. I thought the first Die Hard was one of the hardest things I'd ever tried to do. But then I realized when I got into this one that the first one was a piece of cake. How can the same thing happen to the same guy twice? I am once again in a place that is that happens to be taken over by terrorists. Instrument landing system is down. Backup systems won't come up. We've got blizzard conditions. Zero visibility. Every system's dead. These guys shut us down. We just bought maybe two hours. After that, those planes low on fuel aren't going to be circling. They're going to be dropping on the White House lawn. It really closely parallels the whole, you know, Manuel Noriega thing. You got the world's biggest drug dealer on his way here now. What do you need, a slide rule to figure this out? He wants to take charge of the situation. He wants to, uh, he wants to handle things his own way. Who the hell is this? Who I am is unimportant. What I want is very important. We don't need a loose cannon on this deck. He's got a, this great twinkle in his eye. Oh, oh, we are just up to our neck in terrorists again, John. You're the wrong guy in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh. Story of my life. He's not bound by any of the red tape or the badges or the clearances. You get the hell out of my office before I throw you out of my damn airport. This is how I spent Christmas last year. Same old cranky guy. Well, one of the things that we tried to do in, in uh, both these films is present a, a character that is not invincible, that is uh, vulnerable, both physically and emotionally. Put up! Your wife's plane? They're gonna run out of fuel in 90 minutes. What are you gonna do? Whatever I can. Willis wants to do his stunts himself, and sometimes Charlie uh, and I have to calm him down and tell him not to do them because we want to keep him alive and well so that we can shoot also the following day. We have a scene where we actually fly a real helicopter over the wing of a real 747, and I jump out of it onto the wing, and we proceed to have a huge fight with, with two different guys on the wing of a moving 747. I don't think that's ever been done. There's only one way to really make it look like you're trying to kill someone, and that is to try and kill them. Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Bigger, badder, louder. Is this what you expected? No. This is just the beginning.